2019. It's Friday. Happy Friday. We're missing you tons. Uh, hopefully you're feeling pretty good for the week. Um, we've got some fun training strength-wise. Uh, we're going for quality, not for time. Uh, we have uh, different variations of movements that we're going to do uh, based off of a sequence that we did uh, for strength on March the 25th. Uh, See so what you guys come up with here. We have weighted squats, uh, pulling movements and pushing movements. Uh, get some good ideas going. You could do um, a variety of different things here. Um, some ideas for the squatting. Uh, obviously barbell, if you have a brat at home, you can use a brat. Uh, kettlebells for goblet squats. Or you can get a little bit more creative with this. You can squat a human, you can squat with a backpack. Uh, we want to see what you come up with there. Uh, for pulling movements, uh, we've got pull-ups. If you have access to a pull-up bar or maybe a door frame, we saw some pretty creative pull-up um, season situations using um, outdoor equipment. That's great. Uh, we can do for pulling as well, like a bucket. Uh, you can always use your dumbbells, uh, do a bent over forward pull position. Um, and then moving on to some examples of things that you could do for pushing movements. Uh, we've got bench press or floor press, you could do that with a barbell as well, or your dumbbells. Overhead squat, same thing with overhead squat, it'd be kind of fun to see you guys overhead squat your kids. Be fun for me to watch. Uh, we've got single arm. You could do single arm, um, kettlebell, dumbbell, or you could do both. Uh, body weight. Lots of variety here. Lots of options. Um, if you're using more of a lighter weight, you want to try to do something that's a little bit slower in movement. So you're taking your time and really pausing and being mindful of your body positions uh, and your technique throughout. Got my friends here. My support team. All right. Work out. No, we gotta cut. <sighs> All right, workout of the day. We've got the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, 22 minute AMRAP here. Breaking it into sections of eight, 10, and 12. Uh, we've got eight thrusters. Eight push-ups, eight med ball sit-ups, moving right into 10 wall balls, 10 ball slams, 10 superman, moving right into then 12 push press, 12 squat thrusts, and 12 happy rushes. Okay? What's gonna happen here is the clock is gonna run down for 22 minutes of time, but there's a kicker. Every two minutes on the minute, you're gonna stop uh, for if you have adequate equipment, you're gonna do 30 double unders every two minutes on that minute. Um, and then you're gonna pick up wherever you left off. So you're gonna keep going through seamlessly through that workout um, all the way through the eights and the tens and the twelves. And then whenever that two minutes comes up, stop what you're doing, knock out those double unders, and then get back in the game. If you have some equipment, workout stays pretty much the same here. Uh, what we're doing though, instead of having that barbell for the thruster, you are going to use maybe dumbbells if you have dumbbells. Uh, the dumbbell thruster and then the dumbbell push press would be uh, the only difference there. Um, if you have no equipment, the workout does change a little bit. Um, we've got eight squat jumps, eight push ups, eight regular atomic sit ups. Moving then into 10 burpees, 10 dips. You can do your dips from a box, uh, you could use a chair, uh, you could use a step on a staircase, whatever works there. Uh, 10 supermans. Uh, 12 um, plank, shoulder taps, 12 broad jumps, and then 12 happy rushes. So again, with that same rep scheme, you're going all the way through that with a running clock of 22 minutes. And every two minutes on the minute here, you are going to be doing 20 speed skaters, and then you're going to pick back up where you left off. Uh, all the way through for 22 minutes of fun. Get after it.